February 3rd, 2021, Dave and Jay's Powerbomb, flying over North Carolina, and we just watched AEW Beach Break. That's right, Jay. We're just going to hop right into it here. We got the big tag team battle royal. Number one, The winner of this gets to be the number one contender to the Young Bucks Tag Team Championships. And I think that's happening at AEW Revolution. And thank God we started off with this. We'll tell you more about that later. Absolutely. So Jericho comes out with his entrance with the boys. I think there's three teams. So there's six inner circle members involved in this match. But they were upstaged by the acclaim when they came down in the ring, spitting some serious gangster flow, yo. It was sick. Yeah. No fingers were licked, thank God. Oh, just get off that, yeah. yeah. So it was past start. Uh, Johnny Hungy, Johnny Silver, he's on fire. Yeah, he's eliminated, he eliminated a, a whole people. bunch of people. Yeah. Oh, that was great. And uh, then uh, the good brothers, no, yeah. So the good brothers appear, and they're not involved in the match. Uh, they're just messing around. <laughs> and uh, then Caster of the Acclaimed, he eliminates MJF. I love it. I love it. I, I, I love it. <laughs> that was a total cheap, cheap ass move. Man, I turned my back and I'm pretty sure something illegal went down to make that happen. So we got the final uh, three teams here, or the three guys. Um, it is Lust Sex Gods, Sammy and Jericho, and uh, one guy from Top Flight, Darius Martin. And uh, then in the heat of the moment and everything, like, you know, it could be Sammy versus Jericho here because they're on separate teams, right? Sammy Hagar and La Sexy Hooligan. So they'd have to fight each other. But in the heat of the moment, some miscommunication happened and Sammy got knocked over the top rope. It's not how we meant to free Sammy, Jericho. Not from a match. <laughs> so I think Jericho felt bad. I, I honestly, in my heart feel that way and um inner circle is a whole shit show right now buddy but it's great because we're the number one contenders to the tag team championships because of a chilling judas effect um did jericho you, did you call that i did he was on the ropes martin and i was like judas effect coming up just watch boys and boom we got new number one contenders it's gonna be a sick match at the pay-per-view in march so uh then uh we got a little vignette of jade cargill doing squats did it turn you on, Dave? She's a big, big girl, and I like them in all shapes and sizes. <laughs> Let's go on to the next thing here. All right, oh, yeah. so... We got some words from Darby and Sting here, oh, right? Do, don't do, we? do we ever? They're in the middle of the ring. Tony Schiavone, he's interviewing him. And, uh, of course... Dave, Hold on. I want to say this. Dave protects that Taz, if that Taz will appear. And fucking right, he, that... That piece of shit appears. There, he's banned from the arena. Thank God. So they're in the parking lot in the jumbotron, just you know, flipping their gums. You know, they should just deport them to Guantanamo. Oh man, I mean, Hook has the son just needs. You know what? Needs I, to get a doctor. I, I, I have to get something else. off my chest. Okay. Last week I said John Moxley has AIDS. That's totally not true. I didn't say it. Taz has AIDS. Oh, you, should, you gotta stop with the AIDS shit, Jay. It's not cool. All right. So then. Um, <laughs> okay, so then we find out that Darby is going one-on-one -on -one for the title, the TNT Championship, against Joey Janela next week. And I don't know how Janela gets a title shot. I don't know. Maybe Sonny was, you know... <laughs> Maybe I'm next not, week... I'm, I'm just not going to say Maybe next week we'll call our video Sonny Kiss Twerk Battle and get 2,000 views. <laughs> Who knows? Okay, so then uh, Sting says that he's going to be in Darby's corner uh, next week for fairness because Team Taz is like, we're, we're going to jump you guys during your match. Yeah, <laughs> you, know, you, you know what you guys are going to do. <laughs> so um, we, got, oh, yeah, we got the women's match right now. We got Dr. Britt Baker coming out with Sexy Reba, and she's fighting the pride of, uh, the pride of uh, Mexico, Thunder Rosa, yeah. the pride of Tijuana. And uh, then uh, Britt means business tonight. She's not her usual smiles. It's no fun in games. The gloves are off, so to speak. Yeah, it was women's violence right off the bat. Oh, yeah. She goes for that lockjaw instantly. Uh, Thunder Rosa is able to squeeze out. Uh, but then there's a big move. Thunder Rosa hits that big Death Valley driver onto the stage connected to the ring. It looked pretty devastating. Um, and then Britt Baker hits uh, what, uh, what that Excalibur calls the Air Raid. I think he just makes up the name for some of these moves. It's that beach break move that Orange Cassidy employs. And uh, what else do we got here? Um, yeah, and then um, uh, Reba gives the glove to Britt. 
as Jay poses with the Harvard hoodie and the MJF scarf. And uh, Reba rips the turnbuckle cover off. And then Britt is able to hit a flatliner into the exposed turnbuckle, allowing her to get the lockjaw for the big submission. Thunder Rosa is completely knocked out. What they had to expect, man. You're going against bloody Britt Baker. That's right. Like, so hopefully this feud is done. She Canadian destroyed Van Vanguard One. Look it up in one of our old videos. Britt is moving on to bigger things, I believe. Oh, uh, yes. The medical team had to get involved. Thunder Rosa, go back to NWA. Okay, so then we got um, <laughs> Matt Hardy and Adam Page, and they're in the locker room. This is like some pre-recorded com comments last week of Tony, and they're going up against the Chaos Project. Matt Hardy wants to sign uh, Hangman Adam Page. Yeah, but they're just going to have a you know tag team. Just it's just one time that they're going to you know no strings attached, nothing bad's going to happen. Nobody's going to screw with anybody, right? Yeah, right. Okay, yeah. so we got the match. It's happening right now. We got Page and Hardy versus the Chaos Project, Serpentico and Luther. And, of course, Luther's throwing Serpentico around like a weapon. Oh, man, we totally love that gimmick, man. I do, just too. love it. I it's hate great. those guys, but I love that gimmick. <laughs> <laughs> so, and then um, Luther does a leg sweep on uh, Hangman when he's going for that uh, buckshot lariat. But then Hangman just, like, tosses him off the apron or something. Like, yeah. It looks like it hurt. <laughs> and then uh, he hits the buckshot lariat on Serpentico. Hardy then tags himself in and gets the pin. Yeah. Yeah, Hangman wasn't... Uh... <laughs> He definitely was not happy about that at all. I wasn't either. No. Like, um, uh, I'm going to start branding Matt with his money, Matt Hardy. You fit right up there with FTR, you piece of shit. Yeah, he's more like funny money, doggy boy, Matt Hardy. <laughs> yeah. He's probably like the print in the fiat, yeah, brr, brr, brr. <laughs> so then coming soon, I don't know if it's starting next week, but we're having a good old fashioned nation versus nation feud. The United States, hee haw, versus Japan. And uh, it's the AEW Women's World Championship Eliminator Tournament coming soon. Ty Conti or Annie J is going to win. I like how that sounds. All right. And then we have the sexy hooligans backstage. They're celebrating. I mean, big win, right? This yeah, big, yeah, yeah. This you huge, know, they get their shot at the young bugs. Bugs. Yeah. And uh, they go, and then, um, yeah, they're not pleased, though. Sammy, he's taking it hard, man. Don't leave Chris, Sammy. So Chris goes after, chases after his new girlfriend, Sammy. Like, that's good. Uh, he's his friend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's putting him through it, man. And, but, um, but, hey, Wardlow. I. Can you, I just, uh, can you, can you stop this? We got kind of, oh yeah, 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 I'll get oh, the door here. Oh, yeah, okay, okay, there we okay. go, I'll get the door. So yeah, yeah MJF's, uh, private words. Yeah, I, I'm going to name what he's probably going to do. It's going to be called the Jackson screw job. Yeah, he's going to try to usurp the champion. Yeah, Jacksonville I don't screw like job. MJF. <laughs> He's better than you, and you know it. That's why oh, you don't like him. Oh, you let me get away with that. Yeah, right. At least they didn't get in on SLV last week, or <laughs> this week. <laughs> so then, yeah, he calls him collateral damage. It wasn't nice. And then, uh, so Kip C we're having the wedding now. Kip oh, Saban, Penelope Ford, Best Man Miro, Young Boy Chuck, wrestling wedding. Good okay. old-fashioned wrestling wedding. Yeah, Great, right? <laughs> Can we just skip to the end of the wedding? They do have the ceremony. Satan sounds all Satan-y. Yeah, there's that priest. Um, he looks familiar. Like, he was in wrestling. We're going to have a picture up of him. I can't yeah. recall his name. If you know who he is, mark down in the comments. And, uh, yeah, so they exchange vows and rings. Miro says that they're moving on because they go, uh, who wants to... If anyone's opposed to this union, blah, 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 speak now. And Miro's like, no, moving on, blah, blah, blah. And then um, what happens? They're to Miro's toasting. There's a box. What's in the box? It's a big box. Miro smashes this fucking box. There's nothing in there. Nothing in the box. And then Miro, yeah, and then they start singing the What is Love song, and then Miro gets shackled by Chuck somehow. Like, yeah, I didn't even see that happen. It was like a bear trap or something. It was weird. Yeah, it, it was it weird. Roll the picture. We were really distracted, the box, uh, so it worked. Chuck attacks everyone. Penelope is thrown face first into this wedding cake. Oh my god. I'll just leave it at that. <laughs> so much cream from that cake all over her face. <laughs> okay. And then Orange Cassidy's inside the cake. Uh, he gives the beach break move to uh, Kip Saban. And uh, it's just a good old-fashioned wrestling wedding. That's how they always wind up, right? Yeah. 
And then, um, so, oh yeah, we got Shaq. So Shaq's on his TNT basketball NBA halftime show talking mad shit about Cody. It's the same shit that he said last week. I think he called, like, Red Velvet, like, Red something. Um, that red was, Pumpkin. Yeah, something that wasn't Velvet. Yeah, um, I know, like, sure, she made me straight from your mama's kitchen, but nobody knows who you are. <laughs> And then, so yeah, Shaq and Jade Cargill versus Cody and Red Velvet, uh, I believe March 3rd at the uh, Pay-Per-View Revolution. Or no, March 3rd on Dynamite. This is happening on Dynamite, actually. Yeah. I got it wrong. Yeah, March 3rd's yeah, a month away. Okay, big lumberjack match. Big piece of shit, Eddie Kingston, going yep. up against favorite of us, and I hope Murder everyone. Murderhawk. Murderhawk. Because why would you like anybody, any you fucked? Why would you like Eddie Kingston? Yeah. When we put, you know what? I actually, if you like Eddie Kingston, write down in the comments. It's like, why the fuck would you like Eddie Kingston? Yeah, he sucks. I know none of you are gonna write it because Eddie Kingston sucks. So Murderhawk, fast start. Peter Avalon gets involved. Yeah, pretty Peter Avalon. <laughs> Murderhawk knocks himself out. He's going after Avalon. Avalon <laughs> dog <laughs> smokes the <laughs> post. <laughs> Oh, and, man. It's great to see one of our dark favorites getting some action like that. I love it. I better Avalon than uh, Cutler, that's for sure. Um, so then Murderhawk dives over the top rope onto all the lumberjacks. Oh, that was crazy big. And then uh, Bunny jumps on top of uh, the of Murderhawk, and then uh, she's about to get set up for the uh, blackout, but then Eddie Kingston is able to hit that whack-as-fuck spinning back fist. And, uh, Worst move ever. Jade Roberts gets involved outside the ring. Yeah, I don't know if he, he threw a DDT, somebody. but yeah, he, he smoked, smoked someone pretty there. good. I'm not sure who it was. They set up a table. Shit's breaking down. Everyone's getting in the ring. And then uh, uh, Murderhawk's able to finally hit that blackout on Eddie Kingston. Get the pin, the win, put this feud to rest, you're better than this murder hawk, move on to bigger and better things. Send Eddie Kingston back to dark. Yeah, or didn't he quit like a month or so ago against Moxley? Like, he should be done. Okay, so everybody dies, and then we have words from FTR, and they're pissed because they weren't even included in the number one contender. Can you blame them with that fucking Tully's cocaine scandal? They got suspended because of the blow. Yeah. Serious shit. We reported it first last week. Yep. Yeah. It's only us. That report, you know, the truth fake news. It's... Yes. Okay. And then, um, yeah, and then, oh, bud. So then the camera pans over. Guess who's tied up in a chair with a gag in his mouth? Well, why do they have to put the gag on his mouth? Because he won't stop talking. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> oh, we discussed this earlier. It was a lot funnier. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Marco's in big, big trouble. And um, then we have uh, pre recorded words from Joey Janela regarding his undeserved TNT championship title match next week against uh, Darby Allen. And we'll leave it at that. Okay, now we have, uh, oh yeah, next week, big match. We've got the sexy hooligans, uh, MJF and Chris Jericho. They're going up against the acclaimed because the acclaimed upstaged the Inner Circle's entrance. It's awesome. I love it. Can't wait to see that match. It's going to be a great match. I don't know who we're going to be going for. Are you playing? Yeah, you're going to be. Oh, yeah. I'm going to be going for some of the finger licking action, too. <laughs> So, big-time main event, six-man tag match. Uh, we got Kenny Omega and the Good Brothers versus John Moxley and uh, Ray Phoenix and Pac. Don Callis is out there. You should actually color put commentary. John Moxley's name. Can you say that, but put John Moxley's name at the end of all three of those names, how you just said it? Okay. Ray Phoenix and Pac. That sounds more reasonable. All right. And um, Moxley's stinking up the place as usual. He's refusing to make tags. He wants to do it all on his own. Beat up for three guys. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> Thank God you got, like, you know, Death Triangle there as a, partially as a team. I think Ray Phoenix, like, had a force to tag, and then he's just on fire doing these spin kicks off the top rope Man, and shit. It was just, like, continuous it's nuts. Whoa. It's nuts. If Kenny ever gets injured, we have to give the title to Ray Phoenix. Yeah. And, um... Um, then we got uh, Stereo Moonsaults uh, going to the outside of the ring. Uh, Pac and uh, Ray Phoenix hit them on the Good Brothers because Moxley's not going to moonsault anybody in or outside of the ring, that's for sure. And um, Snapdragon from Kenny off the top rope to one of those poor saps. Um, and then Triple Team Powerbomb Neckbreaker by the Good Brothers and Moxley. And, Kenny, and uh, then he hits a V trigger. Um, Omega then takes the beats for a bit. I think there's some dirty pool involved. <laughs> and really? yeah. then Omega hits a paradigm shift on Moxley, giving him a taste of his own medicine. But then the pin's broken up by a crazy 450 splash by Pac off the top rope. What the fuck? 
<laughs> that was crazy. Man. It was. Then Phoenix goes on fire again, and then uh, they have to settle him down. So the Good Brothers hit the Magic Killer on Phoenix. Big win for Kenny and the boys. Yeah, Kenny got broken up because Kenny backed up that pin with the V trigger in the face of whoever the heck it was. Probably was Moxley. I hope so. Me too. And then uh, there's a post match beat down on Phoenix. Like we gotta get Phoenix out of the picture. He's the biggest threat to our, uh, the title. Like Moxley is not the anymore. biggest threat that just broke out for like what the hell was going on. Everybody dies, Jay. Murder Hawk came Murder down. Hawk came out. Big save. Big save. He's past Eddie Kingston now, bigger and better yeah. things. And uh, then we got to slow Murderhawk down. Who comes out? I think it's a friend of Kenny's. Looks Japanese to me. Yeah. It's a person named Kenta. It's Kenta? Damn it, I put down Kenji. Okay, well, it's Kenta, okay. and he hits that go-to-sleep maneuver as CM Punk does, the GTS, on the Moxley. I love it. Well done. Team Kenny victorious. I hope Kenta and Moxley just go to distance forever, and let's keep Mox away from the championship pitcher forever. Why don't we just fire him?